Good day to you all and welcome everyone to this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel, Heart of Jesus is waiting for you, presents and gives you heavenly love letters sent down to us from our Lord Jesus Christ and from the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that we may properly prepare, for the heavenly wedding with the Lamb of God. Today we present word of God given by our Lord Jesus Christ in the monastery of the New Jerusalem in Romania, the word of God about the apocalyptic fire part 3. 1992 to 1993, when my father gave me the commandment, I brought the word at the manger of my word, which has been settled in Romanian, and I said that you would be a bishop. And because I said this word, I had to fulfill it then, for the Lord is faithful with his promises. I have sent the word over the one who is ruling today on the seat of the church and I told him, get up and anoint the one who is from me for this time. And why did I do so? I did in this way so that the law cannot say that I did not submit to the law, nevertheless, that one, willing or not, believing or not, went and anointed you as bishop, but God's word anointed you and not that one, the word that was from me upon that man, for the Lord works by the word and his work is called God's word. And where is his work any longer into the midst of the church, which calls itself my church? Do you want to believe that the church is a Sodom and Gomorrah? Do you want to believe God when he tells you that there is no church? No dwelling of church or altar of church, there is no longer that place which is known as holy, without being touched by hands and body that have not been washed from sodomy, from the sins of sodomy and Gomorrah, whose cities were burned with the fire that came down from heaven according to the word of God which came to punish the uncleanness. Do you want to believe that there will be burned with fire the whole uncleanness from the earth? And what will really be then with those who have defiled the places that were dedicated to me, to my spirit and to the glory of my name? Oh, my beloved one, anointed by God during this time, by God and not by unclean hands. Oh, my little and beloved one. You keep saying that you want to see my glory but I am telling you that you have already seen it. As many times you have wanted, as many times as you have asked it, you have seen and received it. And behold why I have added these words, there comes a hard and foggy test as there has never been since the ages and there will never be after that. The fire of God comes over the works of Sodom and Gomorrah, but it comes and begins with the house which calls itself God's house, for this is written, I will begin with my holy temple, because they say that they serve me, but do you believe when I tell you that there are many priests and monks and bishops that do not believe that God is? Do you believe that from the people of that time? From those who crucified me, there have arisen strings of priests from then and up to this day. Do you believe that the churches are full of servants who serve the crucifixion of the Holy Spirit? Oh, the Holy Spirit is severely crucified, well son, and the Holy Spirit cries and struggles to come out of the nails to avenge his cleanness and holiness that have been despised by the servants of the churches, as they are those whom the Lord will call to account, those who have sit at the head of my flock from all around all over the earth. Oh, there comes my glory, my beloved one, but behold how is it going to come? It will come and if it comes in this way and not otherwise, then here it is the truth of the scriptures that says, Woe to those who wait to see the Lord's day. For that day is a day of fire and terror as there has never been since ages and will never be after that. And what is going to be with that church which says that is with me? Oh, the Lord will find it in the world and not within God. What is going to be with the one who will have traded filthily with the spirit, with name and with the garment that was ordained by God? For they brought in the Caesar and sold on money the gift on the altar, and much money have been gathered since then and up to this day, piles of silver on which the Son of God was betrayed and bought, and many Herods, many Judas, Annas and Caiaphas have arisen and filled the places which were taken from the fathers and robbed the holy things and defiled my vessels and my churches and took into slavery the people broken by ignorance sucking its blood and life, as I am the life of my people, my beloved one, I, and if I was no longer able to stay in broken vessels, in unwashed vessels, in dwelling places, defiled and unwashed by the holiness of those who have laid hold of them, and behold why my creature has no longer had God, and if it has no longer had him, then it died, because there is no life without life. And what is now to be done? Oh, the filthiness can be cleaned only by fire. Do you want to believe in those that I am telling you? Because it cannot be calling to godly service, 
This cannot be with money and violence and this calling to serve is not true. For the Holy Spirit is not given by human measure, but he is given by a heavenly calling, by heavenly revelation, working by the spirit of heavenly revelation, and behold what a string of priests has arisen, under the word that they were my following apostles, peace from the great and holy one of God, Elijah the prophet, about whom is written that it would be to come before the great day of the Lord. And what is written about this heavenly saint that he will do? It is written that he will turn the hearts of the children to the fathers and the fathers to their children, to their offspring. And how does this work come about? This work is done by God with you, and the near fathers and the old ones see it. The fathers that have been waiting to see the days of this heavenly work, and behold, they see them and leap with joy and they see the coming to its end of their endurance, because the fathers who were called fathers in God are alive, they stay with God and work with God over the sons to turn back every son to the father. However, the sons of this time do no longer have their fathers, for they have as father the spirit of the darkness of this age and they do no longer have fathers. And what is it going to be done? There will be nothing to do but only what is written for the time before the glory of God's day. It is written that this father, who is celebrated today, will work during this time. And that his work is, to turn the hearts of the sons to their fathers, to their heavenly root. And if the sons of this time are no longer used to the first light, which kept them close to their fathers, and if they do no longer know their purpose and their destiny, then what else is to be done, but their fathers to come into their way, to see them and they to know where they have come, from whom they have come and whom they have to obey. The saint prophet Elijah has to do this work and he has with him at work all the saints and fathers and he has the heavenly powers at work with him too, however, he received commandment from God to protect Romanian all around and to work upon it specially. He has to work upon it in such a way so that he may cleanse it from lawlessness in order to wake it up and to put it then above the river of fire which is going to overflow over the earth. I am the king of Israel. I am the one born of the virgin into the cave of the dumb, and these will speak and testify the miracle that I came down with, as I promised when I went to my father and your father. I am the fruit of life, I am my garden from here, I am my warm manger, which is on you with me. I will make a new birth of the Holy Spirit and fire come down, and I will speak inside of the dead hearts, and they will catch fire and will be a pleasant sacrifice for me, for my kingdom is written into the prophets to be in this time. Truly, truly I speak to you, I am this work, and it is true into your midst, God proclaimed a work of a heavenly word upon the manger of his word, which came down into Romania. The word of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit comes down and spreads a heavenly table. The Lord, Jesus Christ, has this heavenly table in the midst of his people that have been fed for almost forty years in the land of Romania. He who receives my word, receives me, for behold, I have worked in the days of your days and I still make a work which if someone hears it does not know to believe in it, he does not know how to believe in it, but you know that I am this work and that I work by the Holy Spirit. As I led a word when I went to my Father, as this is what I told my disciples at that time, do not be angry. It is necessary to go to my Father. And because I go, I will send the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, who will speak to you from what is mine, who will take from what is mine and bring to you, and he will let you know about the things to come. And if I went to my Father I declared a word upon those that I have from the world, given by my Father, I sent them and told them, Go into all the world and preach that the kingdom of the heaven has come near. Go and baptize and work into my name upon those that believe in me through you. Amen, this is the end of today's message. May God bless you and keep you close to his sacred heart. Amen.